Yeah. Happy Wednesday. Hi, guys. Hi. Uh, greetings from my living room in Santa Monica. And I don't know about all of you, but it is toasty here. So we have that advantage of our bodies already heating up to get us going. So yesterday, we did a whole lot of cardio work. We were bouncing all around. Uh, we were jumping. We were moving. We were going. Today, we're going to counterbalance that by doing a more strength-based workout. So a little bit longer time intervals, more reps. Um, also, muscles are going to start shaking. Things are going to be working in different ways, and that's exactly what we want. So today, as you do your workout, if you notice your muscles starting to shake, you're getting that like kind of fatigue sensation. That's what we're going for, of course, within reason. So as Steve was saying, we sip, don't chug your water. Let's take a big sip now to get started. Uh, if you have not already popped your bands on, please do so. Slide them all the way up to armpits and then slightly down between biceps and triceps. Let's all check. One finger, water sip. And let's get rolling. So come on up to stand. And we're gonna start our cycles. And my recommendation is please start your cycle in between each set of exercises that we do. That way you're not scrambling to try and get it going when you're in the middle of a set. So go ahead and just give the shoulders a shrug. I call it shrug and hug. I shrug them up to my shoulders and I hug them back behind me. Take a few more, shrug and hug them out. And then go ahead and take a stretch, right hand between the shoulders, slide the back of the left hand up and back. And for stretching at the end of our workout, we can usually do this without the pressure on the bands, but because we're just getting started, I wanna leave our bands going, just so we don't have to completely restart them once we get going. All right, go ahead and switch sides, left hand between the shoulder blades, side, slide the back, the right hand up the back. And notice here, you're starting to get slouchy, press the back of your head into that arm, keep growing taller. And go ahead and release it, move it around. Take your hands to your hips, let's do a little bit of a spinal warm up, round your spine out, think big, big arch spine, and then back bend, push your hips, your chest forward. Good. So round it out, let yourself slouch. And then push your hips forward, back bend, little squeeze of the glutes. Let's do two more. And this is one of the only times in a workout that I will ever tell you to round out your spine. Good. And then go ahead and release. Give the rest a shake. Okay. So, in the name of growing stronger, the first thing we're going to do is a two part wrist curl to pump up the forearms. So, I'm gonna curl my fists up towards my hands, and then I pull my knuckles in towards my forearms. So it's two parts. I go up and in, doing our best to keep our elbows glued towards the midline of our body. So we're gonna do two sets, 40 seconds each day. Let me get my timer. We're gonna go in three, two, one. So wrist curl up and in, up and in. And I love this move because it's simple, but when we do it with the bands, it's a lot more profound than if we just do it hanging out without them. Yeah. The more you squeeze your fist, the more we can activate those muscles. So try it. Really give the wrist a squeeze. We are half done. We go up and in. That's the step. Good. 10 more seconds. Good. Relaxing the shoulders away from the ears. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Now, one thing to note here, we've done our first exercise of the day. Let's check our cap refill. Let me see your palm. Press it. Notice that it turns white. If it does not refill, turn back to its normal color within about three seconds. You know it's time to loosen your bands ever so slightly. So slightly. So on that note, second set. Hands down by the sides, 40 seconds. This time, let's go fast. Up, in, up, in. Time is going. Feeling that band cycling through and doing our best not to let our elbows, our shoulders move. So we're isolating the wrists, getting into the form specifically. Up and in, fast as you can go. 
Woo. Squeeze those shoulders in. All right. And if you look down, you might notice veins and things starting to show. That's exactly what we want. Last 20 seconds. Keep up the pace. Go over that fatigue. That's exactly what we want. That is how we build muscle strength. Last 10. That little extra push. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Now, as we go through our workout today, I'm going to encourage you to push your muscles a little bit farther than what might feel comfortable. There is a difference between doing this and doing something that is painful, and you know that difference in your body. So, while I am going to be pushing you, please use your reasonable judgment to know what's gone too far. So let's keep working. Still standing, tricep extensions. We're gonna do two exercises for the triceps today. First the extension, and then a diamond push-up. We have two sets, 40 seconds of each. So go ahead and pull your wings, your elbows in. I like to take a little bend in my knees so that I can get my arms even straighter when I do this. So I bring my fists in, I reach and extend through the pinky finger. I go in and extend, 40 seconds, let's start now. And because we're doing strength today, speed is not always your best friend. Sometimes we wanna move a little bit slower, keeping the squeeze, the resistance of our muscles so you can feel the band gets tighter as you do this and you wanna maintain some semblance of that because that's how we really work the muscles and build strength. So this is my speed, pick your speed. You can go as slow or as fast as feels right resisting those muscles, last 10. Good, core is engaged, nice, flat back. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Now that we've got the move, shake it out, we're gonna add speed. So, the speed is always optional. Tuck those elbows in, take a bend in your knees. You can even drop further into it as long as you're not slouching your spine. 40 seconds, option to add speed, out and in. And I want you to really imagine you're pressing something away from you as you reach back. Press, press, get that thing out of there. Yes, good. Squeeze those fists as you come up. We grab, press, grab, press. Half done. All right, keep going. Let me see who we've got on today. All right, good. Pull the shoulders away from your ears. Last 10. Nice, Justin. We have five. Meryl looks like she's in space. Four, three, two, and rest. Tricep stretch, arm across the body. Switch it up. If at any point you have questions, use that chat box right down there. I'll be checking it, and I love questions. We always want to know why we're doing what we're doing, so use this workout as a chance to learn more as well as doing the work. So let's come on down to the floor. Your floor space, your mat space, whatever you've got. Go ahead and restart your cycle if it stopped. And the next exercise we're doing is still for the triceps. We're going to take our hands into a diamond shape. So my pointer finger and my thumb are together. And I can either stay on my knees, down and up, or you can come up into plank position, down and up. And because the triceps are smaller muscles, you're probably not going to get your chest fully to the floor. That's okay. What's most important is I keep my hips in line with my shoulders. I don't sag out like this, okay? So 40 seconds, first set, time is going. So it can be even a small bend in the elbows here as you warm yourself up into doing it. What's most important is we keep our hips up and we isolate those tricep muscles. Good. And because we're going for strength, also totally cool to do exercises on your knees so you actually hit the muscle group that we want to. Good. Awesome, Diane. Good, last 10. In five, we rest. Good, Lily. We have four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Give the wrist a roll. A little bit harder than normal push ups because we're using the baby muscles. All right, let's come down, second set. Stacking shoulders over wrist. If you're on your knees, your hips are over top of your knees. Everyone, if you wanna come up into plank position, now's your time. We're going. Whoop. Down and up. 
And if you want to add speed, you can here because we've conditioned our bodies to get used to the movement, but making sure we keep our form. Hi, Adam. <laughs> nice, yes, awesome. Good. Taking our time, we can always pause at the top in plank. Better that than stopping the movement altogether. Last 10, we can do it. Last one for the triceps. We have five, four, three, two. Nice job. Everyone, come on up to stand. Give the arms a shake. Take the tricep stretch, right hand between the shoulders, and just walk your hand down your back. Ooh, feel a little stretch, a little burn. Go ahead and switch sides. Left hand between the shoulder blades. Scoot that elbow back behind you. And let's move on into biceps. So just like we did with tricep extensions, I'm going to pull my elbows in towards the body, making fists. This time I'm pulling up and releasing. Pulling up and releasing. 40 seconds. Three, two, one. Up and down. Good. Feel that pulse against the band as you contract through the muscle. Nice, strong fist. Good. And as you do this, sometimes we tend to kind of slouch out, grow taller from the top of your head. Always want to keep good structure of the spine. Last 10. We have five. Four, three, two, and one. I'm feeling it. Bicep stretch. Clasp your hands. Reach fist towards the floor. All right. With our second set, if you want to start to add speed, go for it. Okay? But try to keep moving the whole time. Elbows in. Make those fists. 40 seconds. You can get it fast if you want, but I don't want to see your shoulders or your elbows moving. We're going. Woo. <laughs> there we go. The beauty of the cat's bands. We can really fire up muscles without needing any kind of weight except for our own body. I love it. Half down. Keep squeezing. Are you bending your elbows or are you contracting your biceps? We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Release it. Good job. Two more exercises, and then we're gonna do a heart rate boost and switch out to legs. So we've done a number of types of push-ups before in this workout. Today we're gonna do what's called a concentric push-up. So, I come down either onto my knees, my wrists are underneath my shoulders for this one. So instead of diamond, I'm in regular hand form. I like to spread my fingers nice and wide because that gives me a wider base. Wider base, more stability. We're gonna lower down slowly. Three, two, one. Push back up. Three, two, one. Okay? So instead of just going down and up quickly, we're focusing on that control of the chest and the back muscles as we go down and up. 40 seconds. Time is going. Totally okay to also do these on your knees. We lower down slowly and we push up just as slowly. All right. Good. I like it, being especially mindful of our hips here. Give your glutes a little squeeze, get your core involved. All right, Let's see Avis. I see someone named S who I can't actually see, but keep working, nice DS. Go Cindy and Sophia. Last five. Four, good Lily. Three, two, and one. Shake out your wrist. Quick check, always important to do. Fit hands up. Check it. Good. All right. Second set. This time, if you want an extra challenge, you can lower all the way down, let your chest hit the floor. But I want you to keep your spine straight, push right back up. What tends to happen is we do this. If you can't keep your back flat, don't let your chest hit the floor. I want to see that perfect posture, okay? 40 seconds, second set. Three, 
two, one. Let's do it. So these were almost moving in slow motion, getting that strength through less movements, more concise, instead of speeding through it. I see someone driving. <laughs> Just driving with bands. I love it. <laughs> Good, we're half done. Great, Jeff. Woo, you guys are moving through molasses today. It's perfect. See if you can do one more. Last 10 seconds. Take it really slow. First six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Killer. I liked it. We really went slow. We moved it. Give your chest a stretch. Pull the shoulders back behind you as you roll them out. Our last exercise is for the shoulders. So when we use the bands, it's not necessarily efficient to do something like a shoulder press because our, our arms are above our bands. So I really like a forearm plank because my band, my arm is underneath my band. So we're gonna do a forearm side plank. We have 30 seconds per side. I'm gonna give us the option to play around with it, but just try and keep your hips off the floor the whole time. So I come onto my side, my elbow underneath my shoulder, and I'm gonna press up into a forearm side plank. Okay, always okay to keep one knee down if you need a little extra support. If you're wanting more here, see if you can reach that top arm up. If you're wanting even more, lift that top leg up, lower and lift it, play around with it. But make sure that your hips are off the floor, pressing the ground away from you with your bottom forearm so we're not sagging out, we're half done. Woo, good. Last 10 seconds, then we're gonna go right into the other side. In five, four, three, two. Roll over onto the other side. Check to make sure elbow is underneath forearm. 30 seconds, we are going. And I'm gonna check our form here. Hips are up. Good, now you have the same options here. If you wanna lift that top arm, go for it. If you wanna lift the leg up and down, play with it. We can try and make our exercising as fun as possible. I call it play. Good. See if you can get those hips even higher. These look great, gang. Last 10. Good, press the floor away. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. Everyone come up to stand. Let's do one round of heart rate boost and then we're gonna swap out our bands. So our heart rate boost for the day is overhead punch high knees. So I'm getting my arms spinning and I'm running with my knees up. So that's 30 seconds. Second 30 seconds, we have inchworms, getting the arms and the leg. I walk it out, I walk it up, I jump. I walk it out, I walk it up, and I jump. Second 30 seconds, cross body punch and kick. I go out, 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 and out. If you want to add a jump, you can. Just move in all the limbs, all the different directions, okay? So first 30 seconds, we're doing overhead punch high knees in three, two, one. Run it out. Get those arms going in, get those legs going. Get those knees up. Light on the toes. Woo! Good, spin those arms the other way. All right. Last 10, then we're gonna come into inchworms. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Step to the back of the mat or your workspace. 30 seconds, go. Walk it out, walk it up, give me a jump. Walk it out, walk it up, let me see you jump, even if it's small. Now we can always do inchworms on our knees too. So whatever works for your body. Last 10, then we're gonna come up for those cross body punch kicks. We have five, four, three, two. Everybody walk it up. 30 seconds, cross body punch kicks, go. Reach, 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 reach. Get a light on the toes, move around with it. Get those legs up, 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 high as you can. <laughs> yes. Speed it up, go, 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 last 10. Last thing we're doing with our arm bands on. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Grab your water, ask questions if you got them. Let's 
switch out the bands and then keep going. All right. Good job, Instagram. Okay. If you can, pop your leg bands on while you are standing. And then readjust them seated so we can get them a little bit tighter when we're sitting down and our muscles aren't contracted. And I know that we have people from a number of locations here. So off the top of my head, I can think of California, we've got Arizona, Colorado, Florida, Boston, Illinois, South Korea. Is there anywhere that I'm forgetting or is there anyone who's here who's from a different state that I didn't already mention? If so, give us a shout. Anybody out of the country? If Kyle's on, I know we've got South Korea covered. <laughs> we got nice. any Also, I don't know if Steve mentioned this, but happy anniversary, John. <laughs> oh man, thank you. Thank you. That's why that's why I was gone yesterday. They opened their beaches in Florida, so I went and watched the sunset with Katie. It was really cool. Oh, that's a really cool way to celebrate. Just get out of the house, be able to do something. That's awesome. Yeah, it's nice and cheap, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, like, every activity I've been doing has involved going from my living room to the kitchen, so it's pretty affordable. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> Continuing on with our strength. If you've not already taken a sip of water, please do that. Get a big sip, especially if you're in a climate where it's warm. All right, hiking the outer edges of those leg bands all the way up towards our hip bones. And let's start just giving the legs a stretch. So stepping them wide, take both arms up and over to the side, and then bring them down to the right leg. Then bring them straight up over to the left leg. We're gonna do four more of those straight up, over to the right, reaching a little bit lower, straight up. Over to the left. If you have not already started your cycle, please do that now. And right. And up. And to the left. Cool. Come on up to stand. Sumo heel raises. So starting smaller muscles to bigger muscles, especially because our calves are small muscles. If your calves are not shaking a little bit as you're doing this, see if you can work them harder. Okay? So I'm going to angle my toes out. Step your feet out a little bit wider. So welcome wider than hip distance. Let me angle this down so we can see. There we go. And I'm going to start by lifting my right heel off the floor. And then I pulse into it. So we're doing three 40 second sets. So this is the first move. And 40 seconds, we are going starting now. So working into it. And you don't have to come all the way up. You can drop into it and hold, get low. Better. I want to see that. Really get that right heel off the floor. Pulse it. As always, shoulders are stacked over hips. Keep that good posture. Get your heel even higher. Woo, half done. Good. Now notice if your knees are starting to flop inward, keep pressing them open so we can also open up our hips. In 10, we're gonna switch right into the other side. Get that heel up even higher. Yes, bottoms lower for four, three, two, switch over into the left heel, right into it. Should already be starting to feel some burn. Yeah. Good, so we've got this side, and then we're gonna try both heels. If balance gets a little shaky, do your best. This is why we do it. We're getting stronger today. Let me see those calf muscles. Woo! Half done. 
<laughs> Good. Press those knees open. Last 10, then we're gonna come up and rest. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. My legs are shaking. Give your hips a rock side to side, bending into alternate knees. Okay, 40 seconds. I know that my legs are gonna be shaking like crazy. So we're just gonna own it and embrace that and look really funky together. Let's bend into that little mini spot. Right heel up, left heel up, 40 seconds, go. <laughs> At least if we're gonna look silly, we can do it together. Woo! There you go. Nice, tall shoulders. Butts dropping down. If you can, get those heels up even higher. We're half done. Heels up, drop your butt down. Go full shaky. All right. Woo! Last 10, we can do it. Ooh, I feel those bands working. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, 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 and one. Oh my goodness. Rotate both feet over to the right. Keep your back heel down. Bend into the front knee, calf stretch. Now this doesn't do any good if your back heel is lifted off the floor, so keep pressing your back heel down and away from you. Think long line from heel to top of the head. Nice, now let's pivot both feet over to the left. Keep your back heel down, bend into the front knee, other side. All right, rotate back through center. We have two heart rate boosts in our leg set. This is the first one. So we have the overhead, high knees, double punch. Ready? 30 seconds. Here we go. Roll it out. And when we're able to get our arms and legs going, it gets our heart rate up even higher. So that's why we do all kinds of funky things with our arms and legs together. There is a purpose. Good, roll your arms the other direction. Keep your knees up, half done. Run it out, go even higher, faster. Yes. Woo, in five, we're gonna move on to inchworms. We have four, three, two, and one. Walk to the back of your workspace. 30 seconds, go. Walk it out, walk it up, and jump. Walk it out, walk it up. Give me a jump at the top, keep going. Whew. Fantastic. Awesome, Kayleen. All right. Avis, you look like a shadow, but I see the jump and I love it. <laughs> Go, Quentin. In three, we're going to come up for cross body punch kick. Two and one. Let's punch, kick, punch, and kick. Yes. Woo! Get light on those toes. Get your legs up. Up. <laughs> nice. Last 10. Get the heart rate up. Go all out. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Okay. So I believe we've done these with John before, but I have not taught these before. It's a hamstring curl. So we get to challenge our balance and really activate our hamstrings all at once. So get your cycle going. And we're gonna start with the left leg. If you want assistance with your balance, you can grab a wall or a chair, or you can take your hands to your hips. So with my left leg, I'm gonna curl my heel in front of my butt and straighten out my leg. Now notice as I'm doing this, my knees stay in line with each other. We don't want our knee to shoot forward. So, starting with the left leg, 40 seconds. We're doing four sets of these. It is a strength day. These guys should be burning. We will stretch it out at the edge, okay? 40 seconds, heel the butt, let's go. And just like our bicep curls and our tricep extension, it doesn't necessarily have to be fast. It should be concise, so really squeeze that muscle as you pull your heel into the butt. Instead of just lifting your leg, activate what you've got. Woo! Yes. 
Good, last 10. We're gonna work into it in five, four, three, two. Pick your foot up as high as you can, pulse it into your butt, heel the bottom. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. That hamstring should feel a little bit different than your other one. Let's go right to the other side. Right leg, my knees stay in line with each other. I step my feet hips distance. I pull my right heel into my butt and release it. Time is rolling. And this exercise is just as effective. If you can only get your foot this high, that's fine. It doesn't matter how high you go. The higher you can get it, the better, but you're still doing good work. So if balance is an issue, give me what you got. All right. Good. 10 more seconds. Make sure those knees are in line. Pull the right knee back, say half an inch. Good, nice, George. In five, we're gonna pull the right heel in and work into it. We have four, three, Two, get that heel in towards your butt, pulse it, pull the knee back even more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Active hamstring stretch, hands to opposite shoulder, hinge forward, rise up. Feel that tug. Hinge forward, rise on out. If this is too deep of a hamstring stretch, take a bend in your knees to release it a little bit. We've got two more. And come up, let's go back into the left leg. Okay. Pull the knees in line with each other. 40 seconds, heel into butt. If you want to move faster for this one, you can, but if I see your knees sneaking forward, I'm gonna call you on it. Time's going. And as we do this, think tucking your tailbone under, keep your hip bones lifted. We don't wanna pop our butts out. Good. Half done. Nice, John. Woo. Mm-hmm. In 10, we're going to work into it. Good, Jeff. We have five, four, three, two. Pull your heel in. Now hold it. Pulse it back. Back, back, back. For four, three, two. Hold. Heel the butt. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, grow taller. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right into the other side. Last ones, right leg. Pull the knees in line with each other. If balance is a struggle, you can come onto your big toe and work from here. Otherwise, heel lifts up, 40 seconds, last set, let's go. Up, down, up, down. You can go for speed on this set if you want to. Keep that knee stable. Keep the rest of your body stable. Yes. Tuck that tailbone under. We don't want to let our butt flare out. Keep that spine straight. Half done. Good. In 10, we're going to work into it. Pull your right knee back half an inch. In five, four, three, two. Pull it with your heel up as high as you can. Pulse it back. 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 Six. Five. Four. Three, two, hold it, pull your heel up, up, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, nice. Good, shake it out. Woo, feel those. Okay, we're gonna go right into our next exercise. Cycles going, check them. It's a curtsy lunge. I'm working my left leg only. We have four sets of these two. We're going for full leg burnout today. I step over to the side and come back up. I want you to try and keep your, get your back knee towards the floor. Now this front knee is gonna wanna go wonky. Keep squeezing your hips to keep that knee as close to over the ankle as you can. So I step over to the side and I come up. Side and up, go slow, get low. 40 seconds, first set, three, two, one. Lost my device. <laughs> Good. Spine stays straight. Squeeze those hips just as much as everything else to keep the body stable. Mm-hmm. 
Good. Sydney and Sophia, you guys are going at the same time. You usually are. I like it. Good DS. Nice, Gabe. All right. Bonnie's got it. In five, we're going to step back and work into it. Three, two, step that left leg over. Hold it, pulse it down. Eight, seven, lower six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come up to stand. Right into the right leg. 40 seconds. Let's go. We know what to do. Keep that front knee stable. Down. Get that back knee down and up. Squeezing through the glutes. This is good for the quads. It's good for the hamstrings. It's good for your glutes. We're working the whole part of the legs. Half done. We're also engaging our core to stay balanced so that each time we do it, we can step that foot a little bit further over to the left. In 10, we're gonna step back and work into it. We have five, four, three, two. Step back and hold it. Pulse it, squeeze. Imagine you're pulling your knees in towards each other for eight, seven, lower six, five. That's it, four, three, two, and one. Step the legs wide, bend into alternate knee, release it. Okay. Second set, your choice. You can do the same thing, back and up, or you can step back into that curtsy lunge, hold it, and just drop down and up the whole time, okay? If you want to, you can also limit your range, make the movement really small. The smaller the movement, the more the muscles have to stay contracted, the more they burn, okay? So 40 seconds, working into the left leg, your choice, which variation you want to take. Three, two, one, go for it. Good job, Instagram. Super do job, Zoom. John's dog is getting involved. Woo, Quentin's going full back leg hold, so is George. Nice. Everything looks good. Everyone, pull your knees in towards each other. Keep that good form. Squeeze your glutes, your hips. Nice. In 10, we're gonna do a static hold at the bottom. We have five, four, three, two. Drop your back knee and hold it, get low, squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Come on up, shake it out. Nice job. Right to the other leg and then we're moving on. You have your two options. You can step back and up or you can step back and work into it. We're going in three. Two, one, let's go. Making sure this front knee doesn't get lazy. Awesome job. Nice, Justin. Good. Fantastic form. Ooh, Gabe's moving fast. Yes. <laughs> All right. Whichever variation you're doing, make sure your shoulders are up, nice straight spine. In 10, we're gonna drop that knee for a static hold. We have five, four, three, two. Hold it as low down to the ground as you can. Squeeze like heck for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Come on up, shake it out. Heart rate boost, 30 seconds. Overhead punch, high knees, let's Move. After this, we're gonna take some water. This is our last heart rate boost of the day. So let's get our heart rate up, let's get moving. Circle your arms the other way, get your knees even higher, higher on those heels. Better yet, off those heels. Go, 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 go. In five, we're going into interns. We have four, three, two, and one. Watch the back of your workspace. Walk it out. Walk it back up, all the way up, all the way up. Time's going, jump at the top. All right. Woo. Nice. As Judith and Charles, I can't see you, but keep doing the hard work. In 10, we're going into cross body leg kick. Same with Julia. We have five, four, good Kayleen, three, Two and one, hop on up to stand. Kick, 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 and 
kick. Get those legs as high up as you can. Boom, boom, boom. If you want to add the jump, add the jump. Just keep moving your legs. our hips. I'm seeing some knees starting to sneak back. We have five, four, three, two. Drop your knees. Take a rest. Cool. Next set. 20 seconds. Set yourself up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're going in three, two, one. Time's going. 20 seconds. Same thing. And if walking side to side isn't happening, just hover your knees and hold it. You can also do hovered knee taps. You can work up to it. You can tap them up and down, up and down. Good. Last five, four, three, two. Drop your knees and rest. We have one more set. We're only doing 10 seconds. And for this set, we're gonna do something a little bit different. So we're gonna have you hover your knees off the ground. You're gonna press your butt back and forward, back, and forward, okay? Knees don't move. We're getting into ankle mobility while we do this. Knees off the floor, 10 seconds. We're going 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hover, hold. Woo! And drop it down. Good job, gang. Okay. Last exercise of the day. I promise water. We didn't drink water. Everyone grab your water, take a sip. If you've not already done so, if you have, take another sip. Okay, now we're ready. Now we're keep ready to keep going. Okay, come on up to stand. Last one. Squat leg lifts. Four sets, 40 seconds per side. Step my feet slightly wider than hip distance. Now we've been talking a lot about weight distribution, so I want the weight to be in the heels. You can tell if your weight is in your heels by picking your toes up off the floor. So keeping your weight in your heels, come to a squat position. Just keeping my butt low, I lift my right leg up, down, up, down. Even if it's just half an inch off the floor, don't let your hips move, don't let your body move. Up and down, okay? 40 seconds, we're going in three, two, one. Get low, pick it up, down. And this standing leg is going to be dying. And that's what we want. Making sure your weight is in your heel. Maybe pick the toes of your left foot off the floor to try it. And as you work into it, you can sink your butt even lower. Go over that full shake. This is the last thing we're doing. Let's make it good. We are more than half done. You've got this. I know we can. Mm -hmm. Last 10. Opportunity to sink your butt even lower. And then we're going to go right over into the other leg in five. Four, three, two. Shift the weight over to your right leg. Left leg up, down, up, 
down, a whole lot of balance. Woo! That's a step. Keep shifting your butt back. Maybe pick the toes up of your right foot. You can do whatever you want with your hands. Up and down. We are half done. Option to sink your butt even lower. That does not mean rounding out your spine. Shoulders down and back. Yes. Last 10. Sink into it. You can do it. Core is engaged. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Wiggle it out. Last set. All right. Let's do it. Feet out. Bend into those knees. Get your butt low. Right leg off the floor. We're going up, down, up, down. That's the stuff. Maybe you think your butt all the way down. I don't know. Try it. Somehow see if you can turn this into play. Make it fun. Challenge yourself. Pushing ever so slightly what we might be comfortable with. Building that strength, not only in our body, but also in our brains, because we know we can. Awesome. Woo. That standing leg is burning. See if you can bend even deeper into it. Last 10. Then we're going to pick it up and hold, because we can. In five, four, three, two. Pick that leg up. Hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Switch it up. Right to the other side. Go. <sighs> Yes. Now play with it. See how high you can get your left leg in towards your arm. Woo, keep your butt down. Keep your body stable. This is it. After this, we come down for core. Guys, everyone looks so great. I see the shaking. I see the balancing. Looks good. Get your butt even lower. There we go. Woo. Nice. In 10, we're going to hold it. We have six, five. Four, three, two. Get that leg up. Stay low. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Walk your hands down your legs. Hamstring stretch. Pedal out, alternating knees. All right, time for core. Go ahead and come on down to sit on your floor space. First up, so we've been doing strength filling today by isolating muscles, and that's exactly what we're gonna do with our core. We have 90 seconds of core. The first 30 seconds, I'm only in and out. So get everything in, everything out. Everything in, everything out. Then, we're gonna hold this out position for 30 seconds two times. Now, the only thing I care about is that your entire spine is pressed against the floor. If you're arching, you're compromising your back, and that's not good, okay? So even if your legs are up here, that's fine, as long as your back is down, okay? First 30 seconds, lift your head, neck, and shoulders off the floor. Bring your arms down by your sides. We go out and in, out and in. That's the move. So we're preparing our bodies to hold that hollow body position. Nice job, Instagram. Good. And we don't actually have to touch our knees when they come in. Bonnie looks like she's been doing Pilates her entire life. Good, last 10 seconds, and we're gonna pull the knees into the chest and rest. We have five, four, three, and two. Pull the knees in, let your head relax. Give your shins a big hug, rock side to side. Okay. Our first hollow body hold. So pick everything up and off the mat, pull it in, and then extend it out and hold 30 seconds. Fingertips and heels reaching in opposite directions. Find length in your arms and your legs to help take some of the weight off the core. And breathe. Each exhale, press your spine into the mat a little bit more. We've got it, we're half done. Arms reach straight back behind us. We're opening up the shoulders. Pull the belly button into your spine. Gabe, you've got it, everyone's got it. Good, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Knees into the chest, rock side to side, release your back. We've got one more of those. Guys, these are great. These look really good. I saw as we were doing them that some people started lifting their legs up more towards a vertical position, and that's fantastic. That means we're doing what we need to do to keep our back down, 
okay? Second one, arms up, knees in. Extend everything out, 30 seconds, go. All right, hold it, hold it. Yes, keep them out, keep them extended. Nice, half done. Breathe, pull your core in. Press, 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 press. Reach those fingertips away from the body. Press your heels away from the body. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Knees into the chest. Everyone release your bands. We're gonna stretch it out for about three minutes and then I'm gonna set you free. So go ahead and undo your bands. I don't know about you, but my bands are nice and sweaty. <laughs> All right, grab the backs of both legs. Pull your knees into your chest and start to work your legs towards straight and re-bend them. Each time you do this, I want you to drive your legs a little bit straighter. And as the backs of your legs open up, I want you to pull your knees into your chest a little bit more, keeping your butt on the ground. So if your legs don't go all the way straight, that's fine. That's why we're working into this. I do this every day, every morning. Good, four more. Good. Now go ahead and reach to the outer edge of your knees and pull your knees out to the sides, then in towards your armpits, opening up the hips. If you want a deeper stretch, reach your arms through your legs, grab the outer edges of your feet. Go to yoga, we call this happy baby. Whichever position you're in, keep pulling your knees down towards the floor, letting the shoulders relax, and give yourself a rock side to side. And pull the knees back through center, circle them around one direction. Move them around the other. And then gently guide both knees over to the left. Bring them back through center, guide them over to the right. And keep taking your knees side to side, keeping both shoulders rooted into the floor. It's an active spine stretch. And after this next one, bring the knees back through center. Start to rock and roll, come up to sit. Bring the sole of the right foot into the left leg. Frame the leg with both hands and walk the hands down that leg for a forward fold. Good, walk your hands back up, switch sides. Sole the left foot into the right leg, walk it out. Good, and then walk it back up through center. Bring the soles of your feet together. Wiggle the knees, butterfly stretch. Open up those hips. And then reach your arms out. Reach your arms up, take a big stretch. Bring your hands together, awesome job. Nice work, everybody. A lot of strength today. Um, we'll be here same time, same place tomorrow, and I'll let Steve take it from here. Thank you very much, you very everybody. Much. Great job, great job. Uh, no questions, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. <laughs>